Hey guys, it's Rodney from 3GameMan.com and today's Q&A video will be really quick. It's about the maximum voltage for the Intel i7-5820K CPU. Now, as you know, this CPU really is truly amazing when it comes to overclocking. You can usually get at least a gigahertz more out of it, but you do need to supply more voltage to the CPU in order to do that and have really good cooling. So what is the maximum voltage for the CPU? Well, it really depends. Let's just use the BIOS here as an example. And this is the ASUS X99A, and uh, actually this is the USB 3.1 edition of it. But if, for example, some people say it's 1.35. Well, if I go to 1.35, you're still fine. This is a safe zone. 1.4, eh, you're kind of, you know, getting in to not so safe zone. <laughs> 1.39 still so when you go from 1.39 to 1.4 you know that's that's an iffy zone let's let's put it that way it's an iffy zone so if i go 1.5 man it's still in the iffy zone 1.59 still in that iffy zone i wouldn't necessarily push this that's that's pretty high but 1.6 and then we're completely into the danger zone some people go to 1.4 ish that being said, I'd recommend for most people to stay between 1.3 to 1.35 volts. And they see what they can get out of it, and pretty much whatever that is, that's, you know, as high as they're willing to push the CPU. And of course, your results will vary. It depends on the processor and the board and all that kind of stuff. But generally speaking, you can get this CPU up to at least 4.2. Probably, if you're lucky, you know, 4.4, 4.5, some you know have gotten it up to five um even you know you know so that's just incredible but uh it depends on, on the on the processor so the sweet spot for me for this cpu seems to be around 4.6 gigahertz at a voltage of 1.35 that's acceptable i did push it up to 1.4 1.45 was able to get another gigahertz out of it but i'm going to back it down to 4.6 just to you know stay in that kind of safe zone and i don't want to damage the cpu over time now i am using the corsair h110i gtx aio so that definitely does help when it comes to overclocking having an amazing cpu cooler is going to be really the difference between being able to overclock your CPU and not, certainly sustaining it. You can overclock it, and then of course, when you max everything out, the temps are gonna go way up above 80 or 90, and it's going to fail. So having an awesome cooler definitely helps. And by the way, if you have a new ASUS board, this pretty much goes for a lot of the manufacturers these days. It usually comes with overclocking software. The ASUS boards come with this Dual Intelligent Processors 5, this is the current release, and you can really use that to tweak the system and overclock everything automatically. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy the other ones that I'm doing, please like them, subscribe to the channel. And as always, your comments are more than welcome. I'd love to hear from you on this. If you have the CPU, let us know how much actual voltage that you're pushing on the CPU and where you have it at. Uh, and as always, if you have a question for me, uh, the comment section is below. Thanks, guys.